this is a portfolio of an extremely simple strategy. In fact, it's two line of code, but most people cannot do it. The reason most traders can do this strategy because it's counterintuitive. It goes against your brain. But today I will show you how simple the strategy is and how it works so you can get the confidence to build strategies like these. So the strategy is extremely simple. It's called a pullback strategy, meaning we want the price to pull back, basically to go lower so that we can buy it to go long. So that's why it's counterintuitive. I mean, look at this. At this bar, you're not thinking of buying, but in fact, that's the best place to buy this kind of instrument. So you buy it here and you exit here and you short here and you exit here and you buy it here and you exit here and you short here and <laughs> you lose money but that's okay you don't win all the trades but that's it that's the strategy it's basically you're buying pullback now this pullback can be counted as one bar two bar three bars ten bars it's all up to you the more bars you put in the less trades you will get the less bars you count the more trades you will get. So now you know that it is a mere reversion strategy. This mere reversion strategy works on many instruments and you can represent it in many, many ways. Like for example, you can take Bollinger Bands, Keltner Channels, and in this case, we are taking the lowest low and the highest high, which is Don Chain Channel. Now, previously I've done videos where I used the same uh, Don Chain Channel to go in trend following strategy but then we are measuring longer periods so maybe we can take 10 bars or 20 or 40 or 100 bars in this case we are really focusing on short term because in short term the mere reversion works really well especially if you pair it with the right instruments and of course i've been repeating this a million times by now but that's how it works i mean i don't know why other people try it the other way of course you can but you know you're gonna spend more energy more effort to get something inferior to what you get by marrying the right style to the right instrument in a previous video i did a template in strategy quant x to build many many strategies using the super trend you can duplicate that template to do something that we are doing here for me reversion so you can see this is a template because this is switched on and you can see this is my condition the low is smaller than the lowest low of a number of bars and the exit is when the high is greater than the highest high of number of bars and that's it i just made a template because now i'm doing iteration so instead of low below the lowest one bar or two bar so i'm iterating from one to seven in step of one and same thing when i exit again we are reiterating from one to seven in step of one then we bring this to builder and we load it as a template and we add all the blocks in this random condition and again you can watch the other video to see the details so once you do that you can build strategies and here i built just click on it 362 and look at these strategies they're all beautiful <laughs> remember this is only low lower than previous bars and we're exiting on the high higher than the previous bars and we have only one filter so let's see what kind of filters we got so we start with this one so the, when the low is lower than the low of previous bar and the vortex is rising i don't know what this uh, indicator but anyway it's one condition this is based on the efficiency ratio so this is kaufman efficiency ratio this one is based on day of the week does not equal four that means it's a uh, thursday so if the day is not thursday and we get the low lowest than the period then we go long look at this one this one is using bollinger bands now you can see how simple it is using strategy context to add 400 filters and try them on immediately and see which one works which one doesn't of course you can easily add another random filter let's say using days of the week or you can use one filter for direction another filter for volatility and on and on and that's why sqx is so powerful it's a powerful tool but you need to know how to use it and of course a shameless plug 
That's what my Algo Trading Masterclass is. I teach you how to use SQX, the proper way, how to add filters, how to vet for robustness and on and on. Okay, so now that we know there are many types of this simple strategy, I know we are only measuring pullback and exiting, but now we can expand and we can build a portfolio. Now this test was done on futures, yes, which I do most of the time and I get emails to do stocks or ETFs. So now I'm gonna build a portfolio on ETFs. So even though I'm switching instruments, the concept is still the same. We need to marry the right style of strategy to the right instrument. Even though I'm switched to ETF now, I still need to marry the mirror version instruments to the strategy because this is a mirror version strategy. So if we're trading usually the indexes in futures, you can, we can do the same thing with indexes in ETFs, but we also have more ETFs that behave well with mirror version strategies. Those are uh, other countries, for example, uh, indexes in commodities or in bonds and so on and so forth. So now I ported the strategy to multi charts, but now I added a stop loss and a profit target. The stop loss and profit target are two times the average true range. So that way there is uh, no need to optimize. So when you put them at two ATR, that means you will not hit them as often as you think. So this is the strategy performance. We are making $75,000, 248 trades, making on average $305. And this is the periodical return. We didn't do so well in 2022. And now we are building the portfolio. So this is the same strategy, but now we are using the ETFs. And let me describe this. So this is the SPY, this is the S&P 500, DIA, it's the Dow Jones, and Triple Q is the NASDAQ 100. IDX is Indonesia, and IWM is the Russell 2000. FXI is China, and DBC, this is a commodity index. And TLT is the 20 year treasury bond. So let's back test. So we're testing since 2007. And this is the portfolio. So it's sloping up very nicely. We are just plateauing recently. And let's look at the performance. We're making $242,000 with only $30,000 in a drawdown. And if we go to trade analysis, we have 3,310 trades. So 3,310 divided by 16 years, 206 trades per year, roughly 17 trades per month. So it's almost we're doing one trade a day, almost. Now we're averaging $73 per trade. Remember, these are stocks. So the commission and slippage is like negligible. I mean, it depends on your broker, but most likely you enter for free, exit for free, slippage is one cent per share. And so, because these are very liquid ETFs. Let's go to periodical returns. And now we can see a totally different profile than the one we saw with the ES alone, which is of course the whole point behind trading a portfolio. Now I always advocate, always to trade a portfolio. Never ever trade a single strategy. If it fails, that's it, your account failed. But when trading a portfolio, the more strategies you have, the better it is. And of course, the more instruments trading those strategies, the better it is. Because if one of them failed, then you have other strategies to pick up the pace. Now, in this case, we're trading one strategy, but we can smooth the curve because not all the trades are gonna happen at the same time. So we have eight markets, and this is the performance of eight markets. This is TLT. And you can see TLT is not doing so well in the late 2020. This is DBC, the commodities. And the commodities is doing very well lately in 2020. But it didn't do so well from 2011 to 2015. Of course, if this is a single strategy, you will not be trading this market. This is China. It's doing horribly uh, lately since uh, 2018. And again, if this is a single strategy, then you will not be trading this symbol. This is Russell, so it's flattening out lately and usually is doing well. So it, uh, it should be correlated with the US indexes. This is Indonesia, which did very well starting from 2015 all the way up till today. And this is NASDAQ, it was on a bull run and lately slipped away. 
and this is the Dow. So it went on a bull run and then didn't do nothing for about four years and then picked up, picked again in 2020. And finally, the S&P, which is in a bull run and then just flattening out. So we can see that the S&P is the best uh, instrument reacting to this strategy. So four of them, you would not trade them alone, but in a portfolio, all of them do a certain roles for the portfolio. And let's look at this now. So we can see the SPY, diamonds, and triple Qs are correlated. Now they are not 0.9 correlation, but still like the diamond and the SPY is, you know, highly correlated. But then uh, the Russell already below 50, so 3.8. And Indonesia is 0.2. That's really low, low correlation. China is almost zero. So that's considered uh, zero correlation. Yes, and we saw China. It's totally different profile. DBC, again, we saw that profile. It's totally different. And then TLT, which is, again, zero. And that profile was totally different. And that's why we get this kind of portfolio. Because at every moment in time, a certain market is picking up the pace. And sometimes more than one market picking up the pace. So, for example, in this period, that's why we see a steep uh, move up. But in this way, trading a single strategy, the pullback strategy, and on multiple markets, then you are, let's say, having more confidence that this strategy will work because you're trading different markets and they all have different profile because of the low correlations. So, you know, one market will do well at any moment in time now the strategy i just show you is the pullback and the stop loss and profit target at 280r it also have a uh, 200 day moving average as a filter uh, to go along now let's focus on something so currently we have a sloping up we are plateauing at around 250 our drawdown is around 25 plus and the annual period performance we are losing 2011 and 2020 so now i'm going to flip one switch to see the effect so first of all we see the profile have changed instead of losing on two years 2011 and 2020 now we're only losing in one year which is 2019 and if we look at the curve so the previous drawdown was about 30,000. This one is about 35,000. But the previous high was around 240 and now it's about 340,000. Also, we made just new high here. That was 2020. And we just made a new high here, which is 2022. And correlation stays almost the same. TLT and DBC and China, there are still considered no correlation. Indonesia is 0.2, IWM is lower actually, and Diamond, Triple Q, and SPY is the same. So this single switch made a significant enhancement to the portfolio. We made more money, uh, almost kind of the same drawdown, uh, but we changed the profile. We now lose only in one year. Also, all the correlations stayed the same. I didn't play with position sizing. So can you guess what this switch is please put it in the comments below and i will answer you there to learn more make sure to watch these videos and i will see you